Oh my goodness, Wowzers. look at, look at, look at, look at this thing. You gotta dodge the beads. Dodge the beads. They'll peg ya. Yeah, they will. So back here in the back of Mardi Gras between Simpsons and Diagon Alley, you're gonna find the NOLA section. I don't know, uh, it just has the NOLA sign. But you're gonna have Germany and Belgium back here. Yeah, they look to have some pretty tasty little snacks and drinks. Um, so, I mean, like all of them do, right? I can't wait to actually start trying everything to find my favorites, but um, there's definitely some interesting things back here. We're headed towards New York. Coming up on a few more booths. Looks like we have India coming up here along with Indonesia. Oh, interesting. I mean, do, I guess they celebrate Mardi Gras in all of these countries. No <laughs> idea. We'll see. My favorite area during Mardi Gras is New York. I love, love, love this town square. I love the tribute store, but we're gonna check that out later. Uh, the tribute store is not here anymore. I used to love the tribute store, which was right here. Where is it now? Uh, it's somewhere over that way. Okay. So I love the tribute store, which used to be here, but I'm not even sure where it is anymore. Somewhere, somewhere. We're gonna find we'll out see it. We'll find it. We'll, we'll check it out soon. So in this square, you've got Puerto Rico. You've got um, a bar on the other side and several other food booths down this section. Let's do it. So here is the Canada booth, and I'm gonna say that I want one of everything here. Uh, there is a poutine with short rib gravy. That looks delicious. Um, there's also like a candied maple bacon and several drinks that I would like to try. So we ended up going ahead and stopping at the Canada booth because it just sounded so fantastic. We got two 20 ounce refillable cups. This you is the way to go if you're gonna come multiple times to Mardi Gras because the refill is much cheaper than purchasing them singularly. So. Yeah, so it's I think it's what sixteen fifty for the cup, and then the refills are about twelve fifty or something like yeah. that. I got the beer, which um, sounds fantastic, and I got the maple smash. Mm, very hoppy, good IPA. Oh, that is also very good. Again? Yeah, we also got the lanyard. So this is a gift card where for annual pass holders you can pay. $120 to get $150 value on the gift card. Another great value if you're gonna spend a lot of time trying the different foods and drinks here at the Mardi Gras Festival. Yes, and uh, if you're not an annual pass holder, you can get one that costs $65 and it has $75 worth of value on it. If you're looking to plan your next magical vacation, please reach out to us over at fantasticalvacations.com. We plan all Disney destinations, universal, cruise lines, and all-inclusive resorts. We've done a little bit of exploring around Mardi Gras. We definitely haven't got our fill. We will be back for for sure multiple times before Mardi Gras is over. Oh, yeah. But the real reason here today is for the media preview that Universal uh, Orlando invited us to. So we're gonna go try some of the Mardi Gras offerings for food. Yes, and we're gonna get to meet some of the creatives behind everything. We're gonna get to check out the tribute store. We will find out where this elusive tribute <laughs> store is. And we will get to uh, watch the parade and catch all the beads from a reserved viewing area. And we get to check out this Coconut club thing? What is it? Oh yeah! Like yeah. A haunted coconut club? Cursed. Cursed. Cursed coconut club. Cursed coconut club. I'm interested to see what this is. I can't wait. So it is time. We are getting ready to check into Pat O'Brien's for this media event. I'm excited. I'm ready for this. So we are going to get to experience all things Mardi Gras today. Um, and I am ready. I love the good times roll. So we just got in Pat O'Brien's. It's decorated all for Mardi Gras. Um, I saw them bringing my like little platters of plates of things that we're gonna get to try, and um, we're really just kind of checking in and getting ready to find out what's going on. Here's like all the samplings of the food that we're gonna get to try today. So I've seen like beignets. I actually was eyeing the fried green tomato po' boy whenever we were walking around Universal Studios earlier, so I'm super excited it's on this table. Um, all kinds of yummy goodness. I cannot wait to dive in. We have a feast amongst us here. Uh, the spread is quite impressive. I'm gonna try the thing that I'm most excited for, which is the fried green tomato po' boy. I'm really looking forward to this. It's really good. The fried green tomato is done well, um, and I do see some pickles down in there that I didn't quite get on that bite. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the chicken cochina, I think is how you say it. So it's from, I believe, Brazil. We've actually had these last year, so they're like these little 
uh, fried chicken, kind of like a chicken nugget, but with... Like a chicken hush puppy. Yeah, like a shredded chicken mixture in there. So I have absolutely no idea how to pronounce this. Rod Pulse, we'll say? <laughs> I don't know. It's from Denmark. So it's got a, uh, it's a Danish red hot dog with curry remoulade with pickled cucumber and crispy onion. Look at that. It looks, looks pretty good. It's a different type of hot dog because you've got a different kind of bun and then you've got like that uh, more herby dressing on top as opposed to like ketchup and mustard. Really good, actually. It goes really well. Next up on the menu is the Pav Baji from India. The chef actually was just talking about how he teamed up with some of the team members at Universal to have them come in the test kitchen and help them actually develop recipes that were native to their countries. I do like that. I like that a lot. What do you think? The curry is um, definitely forward there. Um, I can take or leave sometimes, but it is, it's really, really well done. Okonomiyaki, that is my best guess at that one, from Japan. Um, so let's see what this is like. Very I'm not much. sure that I'm a fan of that one. Well, now I have to try this. It says it's a cabbage and bacon pancake with some different sauces, poison and things. I don't hate it. I don't think I would order it. It's different, for sure. This is the Baja shrimp tostado, ceviche tostado from Mexico, and it's going to be a mess to eat, but here we go. That is some really fresh ceviche. The shrimp is really good. I very much like this one. Next up is the shrimp mofongo from Puerto Rico. It's mashed up plantains with shrimp and sauce. Not my favorite. It's also not super hot, so that probably doesn't help. All right. That's a little head scratcher, isn't it? I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm with you. I think if it was warmer, I probably would like it more. It's not bad. It's different. We're gonna do our best with this one. It is the Boober Katan Hitam. Bubber, bubber, boobar. Anyway, it is an Indonesian purple sticky rice with coconut condensed milk, mango, and shaved toasted coconut. So, Looks very interesting, but oddly good. I mean, if you have had rice pudding, like sticky rice pudding before, that's exactly what that is. And then you've got the sweetness of the mango and the shaved coconut. It's very unique. That's fantastic. The liege waffle is a winner. All right, my turn for the beignets. Ah. They're quite good. It is beautiful up here. I don't know that we have spent much time really up here. I know, there is a karaoke place right here. Uh, I didn't even realize this karaoke spot. Like, we're gonna, unfortunately, we're gonna, gonna have happen. to do this at some point. This is gonna happen. I feel like she's gonna make me do this at some point. Yeah. I'm not a huge karaoke kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> we just got done at Pat O'Brien's. Um, they had a cool little outdoor courtyard with a buffet set up with just samplings from all of the different countries with all of the different- Not all of them, but a lot Not of all them. of them, but a bunch of different countries with some of their most popular food items for Mardi Gras. Excited to actually try the life-size uh, versions of <laughs> a lot of those in real life. Yeah, yeah, um, because I mean, we just had like a little sampling, although I'm stuffed, so I, I can't put anything else anywhere right now. But um, I think after after this, we're gonna get to go check out the new reimagined Cursed Coconut Club. So it's yep. the Red Coconut Club, but it's been reimagined for Mardi Gras, so. Yep, and then from there, we're gonna go into the park and we're going to visit the Tribute Store. I'm excited to see what this thing looks like now that and it has where it's at. moved and done all of that. And then from there, we have a reserved uh, uh, Mardi Gras parade viewing section. So, excited about yeah. that too. Yeah, so it should be a good rest of the afternoon slash evening. Um, um, we're looking forward to experiencing a little bit more Mardi Gras. What I love about Mardi Gras here is that it is, it's super fun, but it's also laid back. So it's not yeah. like, you know, you have to get to all these different things. You get to kind of just enjoy. Yeah, it's just kind of, it's just a big party. Yeah. We're heading into the Cursed Coconut Club. I like it, let's do it. Hi, welcome. Oh. All right.
right, so we have actually made it to the Cursed Coconut Club, which is normally the Red Coconut Club. Yep, so it gets an overlay during Mardi Gras, and during Halloween Horror Nights, mm -hmm. and during Christmas. Yeah, this is the, I guess, first year they've done it during Mardi Gras. Um, so there is an upstairs and a downstairs. Um, after nine, I guess it turns into some music and uh, a little bit of dancing, but it's traditionally more of a lounge. Um, we need to come back here. It is open as the Cursed Coconut Club on select nights, usually weekends uh, throughout Mardi Gras. So check the app for details, but it's usually open until 1 a.m. when it is open. Have you had fun today? So much fun, and I'm very full. Great food, great drinks. Uh, the Cursed Coconut Club is super cool. I can't wait to check that out whenever it's like in action. For sure. So we are about to go into Universal Studios and check out the new Tribute Store. I'm excited to see the new, the new location. Yeah, I, I am too. I want to see, he said it was kind of like a speakeasy behind a hidden door. Yeah. It is right here next to Schwab's Pharmacy, the new location of the Tribute Store. Is it permanently here now or is this just the Mardi Gras? I, I think it might be a permanent thing. I'm not exactly 100% sure. I'm pretty excited about this one. I have a new wine glass. It's kind of lovely. I might end up having to get this at some point this season. Queen of the Bayou. I feel like that's me. Your queen of the bayou? Yeah. So this main area used to be the pass holder lounge, and then from here, oh, it's I, another beer cup. I love these beer glasses. I love the lip on these pine glasses. I got one for Halloween Horror Nights. I use it all the time. I think I might need this. Yeah. Like, this I, is I a... might need the wine glass. Hmm. Mm. How much is it? $15 plus a pass holder discount. I mean, it's like begging me to buy it. It is. Right? Buy me, buy me. <laughs> <laughs> From the pass holder lounge, you go here next door in the darker space, which. It's a headband. It's kind of cool. It's like a, like a little um, school day of the dead faces. We've come into the next room. It's kind of like a speakeasy, like service area. I don't know. It's it's like um, got kind of that feel to it. Uh, like we just came through this open door, and there's like a bar over there, like a, a fake bar. But um, anyway, it's really cool. True to form, the Tribute Store had like four areas, like four themed rooms, uh, done really, really well. It was um, kind of the same merchandise through all four. So like the Tribute Store for Christmas and Halloween, they were themed to certain like IPs and one was like different floors of a department store that had different IPs in them. So I didn't really get a theme. I did see like- There was different um, themes. I just I wasn't sure what it was. Yeah, and there was like a darker store that was like kind of more of a speakeasy that had yeah. like kind of more dark merchandise. Like, yeah. um, so there was some differences, but overall kind of it was the same stuff throughout. Yeah, I mean, it was really nicely done. Oh, yeah. It was very, very, very well very, themed. Very very cool. I don't know if they'll continue doing it there because that was where the annual pass lounge was and then that store, I forget the name of it, that had all of the like memorabilia. movie memorabilia stuff in it. It was a cool store. It was a cool store. Um, so I'm not sure what they're going to do with the space by Mummy if that's where they keep uh, Maybe they'll the flip store. swap them so that they can work on one tribute store for longer. I don't know. Maybe. So. so. Anyway, we've got like 45 minutes to just kind of kill time before we hit the parade. You want to yeah. go poke around? Yep. Oh my goodness, Wowzers. look at, look at, look at, look at this huge. thing. This is insane. It's like a whole meal on top of it. So we got Bloody Marys here the last couple years and they did not look like this at all. No. And I'm not even sure you could use the refillable cups to get the Bloody Marys the last couple years, but you can this year. Super, super good. There's like a whole meal on top of this. So. <laughs> like, wow. I don't even know where to begin here, so I'm gonna, Again, I can't hold the camera into it at the same time. So it's actually a much better Bloody Mary than the last time that we yeah. got one here. That was fantastic. Yeah, it's got um, quite a. At first, I didn't think it had enough spice, but once you kind of got into it, it definitely had a pretty good kick. Loaded with lots of snacks and goodies. Oh yeah. So that was good. I, uh, I really enjoyed that. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars for the twenty ounce refill. If you got the cup to begin with, it would be 19. <laughs> Dodge the beads. Dodge the beads. They'll 
tag you. Yeah, they will. I love the dancers. Happy Mardi Gras, y'all! Yeah. Do it for Universal Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras! <laughs> <laughs> so thanks so much to Universal for inviting us out. I actually learned a lot today that I didn't know before. Had a great time at Mardi Gras. Cannot wait to come back. We'll be back here in three days. I'm so excited. I'm I so love excited this festival. Too. It's so, so fun. Food is great. Drinks are great. Definitely take advantage of the um, gift card. The, like. We're at a little discounted food and beverages a little, gift card. Um, definitely catch all the beach you can. Good I don't tips. Know. Good tips. All the tips. So, we will see you on the next video. Bye.